You must learn to be still in the midst of activity and vibrantly alive in repose. My grandfather once told me that there were two kinds of people, those who do the work and those who take the credit. He told me to try to be in the first group, there was much less competition. Happiness is a state of mind, you know. I don't think you are permanently happy. One is happy about certain things and not so happy about others. A nation's strength ultimately consists in what it can do on its own and not in what it can borrow from other. One must beware of ministers who can do nothing without money, and those who want to do everything with money. Education is a liberating force, and in our age it is also a democratizing force, cutting across the barriers of caste and class, smoothing out inequalities imposed by birth and other circumstances. Even if I died in the service of the nation, I would be proud of it. Every drop of my blood will contribute to the growth of this nation and to make it strong and dynamic. Have a bias toward action, let's see something happen now. You can break that big plan into small steps and take the first step right away. Opportunities are not offered. They must be rested and worked for. And this calls for perseverance and courage. Life is a continuous process of adjustment. I do not like carving the world into segments. We are one world. Politics is the art of acquiring, holding, and wielding power. On the one hand, the rich look askance at our continuing poverty, on the other, they warn us against their own methods. Winning or losing of the election is less important than strengthening the country. I think basically I'm lazy, but I have a housewife's mentality when I go about my job. I am not a person to be pressured, by anybody or any nation. Ability is not always gauged by examination. Indira Priyadarshini Gandhi, Nehru, the 19th of November 1917, during Nehru's premiership from 1947 to 1964, Gandhi was considered a key assistant and accompanied him on his numerous foreign trips. She was elected president of the Indian National Congress in 1959. Her father's death in 1964, she was appointed as a member of the Rajya Sabha upper house and became a member of Lal Bahadur Shastri's cabinet as Minister of Information and Broadcasting. As Prime Minister, Gandhi was known for her political intransigency and unprecedented centralization of power. She went to war with Pakistan in support of the independence movement and war of independence in East Pakistan, which resulted in an Indian victory in the creation of Bangladesh, as well as increasing India's influence to the point where it became the sole regional power of South Asia. Gandhi instituted a state of emergency from 1975 to 1977 where basic civil liberties were suspended and the press was censored. In 1999, Indira Gandhi was named Woman of the Millennium in an online poll organized by the BBC. In 2020, Gandhi was named by Time magazine among the world's 100 powerful women who defined the last century.